we are the American Folk Ensemble, and we come from a region in the western United States called Utah, the state of Utah. And some of the, the dancers and musicians here in our group come from various different states. Do you have anybody from a, a different state other than Utah? Yeah. Okay. So we come from a lot of places around the United States. Uh, we come together to, to form our group. And in the summertime, we come to international folk festivals. And so we're here for the Zagreb International Folk Festival this week. And we're, we're happy to be here at the, the Zagreb American Corner. Our performers uh, perform dances, traditional American dances, as well as uh, playing traditional American music. And as you can see back here, these instruments, maybe you can see some of these. Let me explain to you a little bit about the instruments. Um, on the left here you see, or I guess your right, or your left, you're looking at this. This is a guitar, a traditional guitar that you see all around the world. Um, the guitar is played in lots of different styles and, and many different kinds of music, but here in, in our group we have steel string guitar, and it's played with a, with a style of a heavy downbeat. So the guitar will play a downbeat and then a strum, which is a little bit different than some of the other styles around the world. And a lot of the, the guitar players will play with their fingers and on nylon strings. This is a steel string guitar that you would find in, in a rock band, that kind of a thing, and with a heavy downbeat. Then next to the guitar here is the mandolin. This is a, a particular kind of American style of mandolin with the, the shape of it here, but you see that around the world as well. And it is tuned the same as a violin, but it has double strings. And so you find that in, in Italy and some of the European regions. But here in our band, it's a percussive instrument. So the mandolin usually will play the offbeats. And you'll see this in a lot of Eastern European music where the, the viola is playing the offbeats as the downbeat is played by the other instruments. So the, the mandolin is percussive, but also the guitar and the mandolin also are solo instruments. And when they play solo, they do a, a style called flat picking. So on the guitar, he's got a pick in his hand instead of his fingers, and he goes up and down on the string, and he can play the melody line, and uh, some version of that, just like the, the other instruments can. The mandolin is the same. But the mandolin will have a lot of uh, a lot more chopping, they call it, the chop sound. Then um, up here, you'll see the violin. Now, there are two violins here. It's the same violin that you'll see all around the world, but it's, in our music, called a fiddle. And the fiddle is more of the style of the music rather than the instrument. Now some fiddles will have a little bit more of a flat bridge. So the bridge is arched in a normal instrument, but the fiddle sometimes has a slightly flatter bridge so they can do what's called a double stop. Maybe you do a double stop, Eric, for us. And... So they'll, they'll be playing two, two strings at the same time. And it's a little bit of a, of a style of, of the fiddle um, that's unique to, to American music. And you'll see with a shuffle bow, as they do, let's see a little bit of shuffle bow there. <laughs> So that's that's what we would call the shuffle bow. And so the style you can see is very unique to American music. And then uh, right here in front, this, this little box here is, is called a cajon. And the cajon is is was actually originated in, in I, I believe, in Peru, somewhere in South America. Um, the Africans that came over were, were using it as, as a rhythm instrument. And so it's, it's found its way all over the world now, and a lot of bands, uh, various different styles of music will use it, like jazz and, and pop music and everything. We, we play more uh, American traditional music, which can be bluegrass and country and uh, swing, some of these styles that we play. So that cajon there is to help us to keep the beat, and as you saw, we, we dance with a lot of rhythm, and so we need to keep the beat as we're dancing. And over here on, on this far end over here is the banjo, and the banjo is a uniquely American instrument. And you can see it now, it's, it's got a, a drum head, just like you would see on a drum set. And around it has uh, the things that would hold the drum, the metal, the metal brackets. And then if you look up the neck, you can see that, that it has five strings. So there are four strings that are long, all the way like a normal instrument, like a guitar. And then on the side, you see the fifth string, which comes out the side there. It's five frets shorter. And that allows for sort of a drone sound. So a lot of our music comes from where America originated, which is which is in the British Isles. So you have a lot of English influence and Irish sounds. And when you listen to the music, you'll hear a lot of Irish sounds in the films. And then we also have uh, music that we pull from all over the world. And the reason for that is that America is, is from everywhere, really. And we began, you know, most of us came from, from England, but over the years it's become a, what they call a melting pot of cultures and, and uh, different kinds of people. And so over those years, there have been some influences that have, have kind of moved things along. Uh, this style of music that we mostly play, as I mentioned, is called bluegrass, and it has its roots in the, in the south and in the east. Uh, North Carolina is where this, 
ready to talk more about the dances, but but this is this is uh, the kind of music that we have, which is I think quite unique to to the United States. Yeah, like Nate was saying, our our dances reflect where America was built. So America was built with people coming to America and contributing to that melting pot. So our our dance styles have influences from um, English circle dances, from uh, Celtic rhythmic dances, from African footwork dances. Um, so you'll see all of those different styles meshed, and that's what makes. American folk dancing unique is there's not one uniquely American style. It's influenced from all the people who came to make our country what it is today. So we have our, our clogging shoes that the boys are wearing here with those double taps and clogging is, is a very uniquely style. It originated in the Appalachian area of our of our country, which is in kind of the north or the northeast um, part of our country. And then um, our costume and dance. So we have our traditional uh, cowboy shirts with our, our fringe that originates from when our mountain men and our cowboys were on long trail rides and they needed the, the water and the dust and the mud to wash off their clothing and the trail ties that they would wear around their necks to keep the dust and the muck of the trail off. And then our dresses are the same. They've got that same, this is a very uniquely American bandana pattern. The long circle skirts that when they have the skirts underneath will flare out and fluff. And these come from um, American square dancing, which again has the figures. And in American square dancing, you have a caller who will stand and call the formations to the dancers and the dancers will follow those formations. So this would be a, a very uniquely American outfit. And I, I can mention something about why we come out here. Um, in, you know, the world has always wanted to know each other. And I think after World War II, there was a, there was a bit of, you know, a sad time for the world. And um, everyone wanted to be able to share culture and kind of bring the love back. And so the folk festivals became kind of a strong thing during that time. And the United States, because we have such a mixture of cultures, it hasn't been uh, very popular for us to learn our traditional dances because there are so many different styles and things out there. And so the other countries that we go to visit, like like here in Croatia and a lot of the Balkan region, I know that they're very big into folk dancing and they play all their instruments and they know all these folk songs and they can sit around for four hours and sing folk songs. Um, Americans haven't focused on that very much over the years and so we were working really hard to, to help to bring that um, into the world stage. And so during that time when, when the war had finished and everybody wanted to come together, there were a lot of folk festivals that came to be. And there were some councils that run these folk festivals. And, and we, and, and where we come from our area, were one of the first and probably the only that would go out and travel um, representing America in these folk festivals. And so over the years, all of us have been all over the world um, with different groups and in different configurations. And we've come together now so that we can create a group that's gonna be quite big where we can go out and give a lot of representation in a lot of uh, different countries. Because every summer there are, there are hundreds of really big festivals and thousands of smaller ones. And we want to be there representing our country. So we come so that we can let people know about our culture and our love of our country and, and our people. But we also want to come so that we can learn about the other cultures. And just last night we, we danced together with some of the other countries. Portugal was there, uh, Greece was there I think, and Austria. And we can see that their dances are quite different from ours, their music is quite different from ours, but they're just like us. And we get to kind of know each other, and we can talk about our things we love and our families and, and our, our lives in our different countries. So that's why we come, so we can represent our country and also so we can get to know everyone else in their cultures and just share the love. This is a traditional American folk tune. It's called $2 Bill or Lost All My Money. One, two, three. Lost All My Money. 